The purpose of this video is to show you how to install Oxygen Feedback in web help output generated from Oxygen XML Editor. First, you need to navigate to feedback.oxygenxml.com. If this is your first time, you will need to sign up for an account. If you already have an account, simply log in. Note that you can log in using your Google or Facebook credentials. Now you need to create a site configuration to define some settings and to generate an installation fragment that will be used in the transformation scenario that will produce the web help output. From this initial welcome page, click the Add Your First Site button to get started. You need to agree to the terms and conditions, and an active subscription is required and you can select Start Trial to freely evaluate the product. Creating a site configuration consists of a three-step wizard. The settings page is the first part of the wizard, and here you must enter a name for your site configuration and a description. Optionally, you can add a logo and set other options. Next is the version page, where you must specify a version and the base URL for your website where the web help output is deployed. The name field is where you specify the version name or identifier. This is helpful if there will be multiple versions for your output. For example, if your published output is documentation for a product that has multiple released versions, each version probably has its own published documentation. In this case, each published version requires a different configuration since the version and base URL would be different for each of them. The version can be used later to decide whether or not comments from older versions are shown in the new published versions. For our example, we will use 2.4. The site base URL field is where you specify the base URL for the website where you publish your output. For web help output, for example, it is the URL where your web help output is deployed. Note that comments will only be displayed on pages within the hierarchy of the specified base URL. The final wizard page is the installation page. Here you can choose between three options. You can choose to install Oxygen Feedback using a transformation scenario in Oxygen XML Editor or Author, or with a command line transformation script using the Oxygen XML Web Help plugin, or you can choose to install it on any HTML-based web page. For this video, the Oxygen XML Editor option will be demonstrated. Notice that the installation steps are listed here for each option. First, you need to copy the generated installation fragment. Then, in Oxygen, open the Configure Transformation Scenarios dialog box and duplicate the Ditamap Web Help Responsive Scenario. Notice there is a Feedback tab where you need to click the Edit button and paste the copied installation fragment. Then you just need to run the transformation and deploy the web help output to a web server. Once finished, if you go to the web help output, you will see that the Oxygen Feedback Commenting component is now embedded in each topic. Note that an add-on is also available that contributes a side view in Oxygen XML Editor or Oxygen XML Author, where you can see all the comments that were added in the published output for a particular data topic or map. More details are available in the user guide. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.